The secret to your success in heaven is focus on Christ. That's your goal. We have a target. Our target is Jesus. That's our target. We're aiming to hit the target. Like Paul said, I press towards the mark. Christ is the mark. I press towards the mark. I go through because my mind is pressing towards the mark. Amen. The only way you're going to make it to heaven is to focus on Jesus. Not people. Not building. Not conference. Focus on Christ. You have Christ always. He's always with you. You have to focus on Christ. That's the only way you're going to make it in here. That's the only way. you got to keep your mind on Christ. Nobody handle you and take care of you like Jesus. Amen. Jesus died for you. You can't tell me no love you. He died for you. No greater love than this. Than one that laid down his life for a friend. He laid your life down. He brought us close back to God. That was a friend. He lets you come back to God and repair a broken relationship. Our relationship was broken with God. But Christ stepped in the middle. Christ stepped in the middle and brought us back to God. We were way over here. God was way over here. He is the mediator. And what he did, he pulled us back together with God. Amen. We had a separation between us. We had no chance to make it in. Christ stepped in the middle. And guess what? It had to be painful. Because he had to drag over here. He had to drag over Because we was in sin. We was in sin. We was in bondage. Christ stepped in the middle and pulled us back to God. Reconciled us back to God. He fixed a broken relationship. So if you want to make it, focus on Christ. Focus on Christ. That's the end of our life. We should see Christ in the end. No matter how it gets. If we ride on a boat and it's just rubbing down. Open the eyes. I see the horizon. I'm looking at the land. Christ is the land. I don't care how rough the sea may get. If I can see the shore, that's safety. If I can see the end, that's safety. I'm looking at Christ. I'm looking at Christ at the end. Go ahead and talk about me. Oh, my God. 
Okay? He knew them by name. They died in Christ. You know how they died in Christ? They died in Christ and focused on Christ. That's how they died. They died in Christ because their mind was on Christ. That's how we're going to win it in. We're going to win it in by focusing on Christ. Go ahead, let him talk. You don't have to like me. You don't have to like me. But I'll tell you this. If you're going to follow God, you don't have to like me, but you have to love me. You don't have to like me. But if you want to see Christ face in peace, you won't have to love me. Amen. You won't have to love me. You won't have to like me at all. You won't have to be around me. But if you come in contact with me, you won't have to love me. You ain't going to, like I said, somebody, you're not going to bypass me. You see Jesus, you're going to run over me. Hey, Jesus. Jesus going to say, wait a minute, you ran over your brother. How you going to come to me first? He said, love that name is yourself. How you going to come to me first? He says, one of the greatest commandments is suffer and life. What you going to come to me first? You gotta go to deal with that. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, focus on Christ. Yes. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't feel down. If people talk about you, they're supposed to talk about you. He warned you. He said you shall be hated. It's like they hate me. What? What you doing? I'm just trying to live with God. They hate me. Why are you surprised? Why would that surprise you that you're trying to live for the Lord and people hate you? Why is that a total surprise? He prepared you for it. He told you they're going to hate you. He told you they hate you because of me. He told you. He said they shall hate you for me. They hate you because you're socialized. You socialize with me. And so if you socialize with Christ, that means you're in communion with Christ. That means you and Christ are having a thing going on. That means you spend time. If you're with Christ, that means you spend time with Christ. It's not nobody just coming along and saying, who are you? Like I said, I never knew you. You socialize with Christ. So I'm telling you, I don't see these people. That's all I see is Christ. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm, listen, I know it's going to hurt my feelings, but that's okay. I got to keep moving. I got to keep moving. I got somewhere to go. I can't stop for you. I can't say, you, you, you know what the problem is? We try to do God work. God has to fix that person. I can't fix you. Church 
did it. The church did it. Not the church. The church did it. Not the church. Well, the church, the church people did it. Yeah, the church people. Not the God's children. The church did it. The Lord didn't do it to you. Everybody that follows God ain't going to follow God. You can't always look at because somebody in the building of Christ. Yes. You got to realize they sin from Satan sometimes to hinder you. Sometimes there'll be some people that trouble you to slow you down. Just like we read, they want to afflict you, but you're supposed to grow in your affliction. You ain't supposed to stop from growing. You ain't supposed to stop from changing. You, ain't, well, you, you can't let nobody stop. Well, if, if you let people stop you, it's my choice. It's a choice. You choose to stop. You choose to get out the race. It was a choice. And somebody stopped you. Okay, what nobody say? It's a choice. I just say this. Nobody can steal the joy I have unless I give it away. You can't take this choice. It's internal. It comes inside of me. It comes from God. That's why I have this joy. So I'm going to encourage you. Stay on, keep your mind on Christ. Keep praying to God. And don't let nobody hear you. No, no, don't stop running this race. You keep, just keep focused on God. Every time somebody do something, look at Jesus. I, I, I see what you did. I see Christ. Because if I look at you, that means I got to come down here. My affections are above. If I look at you, my affections come down here. But I keep my mind and affections above. So now I'm looking at Jesus, not you. Amen. I'm able to overcome because I'm looking at Christ. So I encourage you all, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord while he's yet to be found. And God, to continue to bless y'all. I thank the Lord for you.